Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. You join us at our new freight passenger crazy junction area in Springfield. You can see that we have some new buildings in the city centre, or the town centre, I suppose this is now a city centre, and you can see some buildings in the distance with Port St. Lucie. In this video, we are going to be doing a little bit of work, setting up a few new cargo routes on the roads to ensure that we can get our tools to where we need to get them. And then we're going to jump on board one of the trains and take an entire ride all the way from near McAllen, right the way up to where our tools factory is, and perhaps right the way back down again. In order to keep this running at a decent speed, I'm going to go ahead and make the route whilst we are, whilst this is actually playing. And I've just realised that I do require, I do require something over here. I need to know where the tools need to go. So the tools need to go here. We have no cargo station truck unload stop so let's go ahead and build a truck unload stop right there i think that would be reasonable and i will build another one right there so we have two truck unload stops i will then create a new line that goes from there to there to there there we go and then we should be able to in fact what i will do is perhaps no let's let's do it the way I did it anyway was there was logic to to what I was doing change the color to the brighter blue kind of we'll make this a little bit lighter so we can differentiate it very easily from the railway line though it should not be hard anyway a railway line would not be jumping into a city like that for example Nevertheless, we are going to do that. I should have named it. It is going to be F. No, where's the shift key? F R R W. Uh, what is it? Tools. Springfield. Is that where we are? We are in Springfield. There we go. I am then going to grab the road depot, get the cargo vans, and we are going to look for. The tarpaulin truck, we're going to go for, let's say, 10 of them. Buy those. Make sure that that is set to very high. Change the colour of them to match roughly what we want. And set them on the routes we require. There we go. So now we should have demand going to this place. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to check to ensure that the demand does work everywhere else. That is crazy that there are that many tools waiting in Port St. Lucie. But I suppose we're going to have to deal with that somehow. And also we have a fair amount of tools waiting over here. So what are we going to do? Let's see. Where is the train that I want? The train is some distance away. Is it you? It is not you. There is a lot in the way of wood waiting here to go to Reno, though. There is that that we need to consider as well. Where are these trains? One train is there. Where is the other one? Do we only have one train? Really? I thought we had two. Oh. Well, let's, let's check. No, apparently just the one train. Why do I only have one train when over here we already have 118 waiting? That makes little to no sense. So I'm going to take a look at this train. Two of those, 17 of those, and I'm actually going to create a second train right now which is going to match whatever this is so those are 10 wheelers and 
Let's make that a little bit clearer for our eyes. Two of those, and then we said 17 of just standard box cars. I didn't even count how many those were. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, wait a minute. I can I can work this one out. That's it. Let's buy that. I'm going to send that on West Tools. And you know what? We're going to jump on it from here. Let's get on board. Right. How do we do this? Where do we want it from? Not from the inside, because we've had the inside view before and it does not work out all too well. But we could have it from here, I guess. There we go. OK, so this is going to be our our uh, brand new route going to from Santa Ana and it's going to go all the way. Now, of course, this is going to be stuck in traffic for a moment whilst uh, whilst we wait for something. What are we waiting for? We are waiting for something. Is it that train? I think it's that train that we are waiting for to, to disappear. In fact, I will fast forward this whilst whilst we do that. May not be. Hang on a moment. This is single track, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So there is no real way that I can get these trains past each other unless I build a passing point right here. And so I should build a passing point right here. There you go. Passing point created. Um, there and there. And now let's jump on board once again. Now I've got to realign the... I've got to realign myself. Where was I? About there? Sure. Let's say we're there. Here we go. Hopefully this goes, this is a nice, uh, easy run. Perhaps I could switch on reshade as well. There goes the whistle, the horn, whatever you want to call it. I hope everybody is having a lovely, oh, what day is it, Tuesday? I'm certainly recording this on, not on a Tuesday. I do like to see the modern the modern platform on that that's this side and on the other side there is the old cobblestone platform which is awesome to see. But here we go, here we go. We're now underway on our journey. Crossing the first level crossing. A level crossing that is probably never used. Getting ourselves onto the passing track. And though we are accelerating currently, we are going to have to slow down a little bit to 29 miles per hour momentarily once that train comes through. So we do have to wait for that train to come through first. Which will happen any day now in the next three or four years. Come on. Alright, that's taking a little bit longer than I thought. 
just going to move my mic a little bit backwards. There we go. Perhaps you will be able to hear me a little bit better now. I do need to rearrange this microphone somewhat. Where are you, train? Can I hear you? I hear a train. I do hear a train. It's just... I do not know whether that train is coming through that tunnel in front of us, or is it a train coming from the other line? That has nothing to do with this particular line. And it might be that. Oh no, that is certainly a train. And it is coming out, out of the tunnel. Hello there. And we shall now continue on our way. into a rather narrow tunnel to start with. But that is that is what you get from a single track tunnel. I must admit, I would have thought that the tunnel would not be squared off inside. It would be rounded just like the tunnel entrance, but that is, that's okay. That is completely okay. It's still not a problem. Now we're going to accelerate. We are going to stop at Santa Ana West, but, but at that point, we are going to be picking up tools and this is where we're going to have to take a quick look and ensure that we are dropping off we do not drop off all our tools at Port St. Lucie and we are saving some for first Springfield and then later on McAllen thirty six miles per hour as we exit the tunnel thirty seven miles per hour now perhaps thirty eight as we exit it only to pop straight into yet another tunnel. This tunnel much shorter than the last, only at about 120 metres, if that. Now I do find this interesting because our clearly our tools are on the opposite platform. So we do need to we do need to worry about that. I do not know if it's going to transfer over. And our other train is already on already back. It does transfer them over. So what I'm going to consider doing. Since that other train is already back, I am going to consider, as this one moves off, I'm going to hold, since nothing else comes in here, I'm going to hold that train in there until, yeah, I'm going to hold that train in there until it is, uh, until this train reaches McCannon. And I'm actually going to hold that train in there in a really strange fashion. And that is going to be just stopping it there. Right, I also have realised that where I need to be... See, I didn't think this through properly, did I? We have a crossing there, we have a crossing there. What we do need is a crossing there. Uh, not quite there. We need a crossing there and a crossing there. And there we go, now this train is on its way. Getting used to it. Trying to figure out what goes where, but there we go. We are now certainly on our way with 204 goods.
Now what I am surprised about is the fact that it did not tell me that it cannot find a path. As it was coming out of the depot, I, I would have thought it would have immediately said to me, cannot find path. Um, and then I would know that there is some, some issue getting it onto the line. But it's, it seems to be okay. I, I am sure I've had this before where it tells me cannot find path, but, well, there we go. There is another train. That is a train carrying some planks and some wood. Which is strange. It's strange that it carries wood back that way, but there we go. The railway here is also a little bit odd. It looks like the two rails are connected to each other. What has happened here? How bizarre. That is very strange. Oh, more to have a look at after this, after this run. After all, we do not want to cause an accident by having the railways too close together. That is better. That is how it should be. Split apart a little bit better. Now it's splitting a lot more. I'm not going to question it. This is our first stop, though. This is Port St. Lucie West. Freight station. So we have 204, I'm expecting that we are going to drop off quite a significant amount, perhaps 90 or 100. Place it in the comments box now, how many do you think it will drop off? I'm going to say 97. So it should be down to 107. Nope, it's dropped off a lot more than... He dropped off almost, he dropped off almost everything. Why would you do such a thing? And why are you stops now? What are you waiting for? Well, there we go. Perhaps it hasn't yet figured out how to do the whole Springfield setup yet. Still just sitting in traffic. Oh, this is embarrassing. Cylinder drain cocks are open. At this time, it's probably a good time to inject water as well. But really, we should be we should be gone. Fast forward a little bit. We are seemingly stuck here. What free path is it waiting for? Oh, it seems like I have no signals along this entire line. Well, that is silly of me. Here, stick a signal on there. There we go. Well, that is completely my fault. I suppose the best way to actually check these 
and ensure that everything is okay is by doing this. Still, I probably should have checked this beforehand. It has been a couple of weeks since I've recorded. But I, I thought I had this all done. Here we go, passing through Springfield Freight Station. continuing on to that weird junction and then we're going to be stopping at Springfield Freight which currently is labeled Springfield Central. I need to rename a lot of these and we shall probably drop off the other 24 at Springfield Freight. So here is a rather large level crossing. We will peel off to the left and then immediately to the right. There we go. And here we are at Springfield Freight. You can actually see Huntsville in front of us. Goes to show how these, these are all building up. What I would really, really like in Transport Fever 2 would be the, the ability to have a, a map size that is perhaps 30, 30, 40 miles in height and about 100 miles in length. I think that would be incredible. At the moment, it is limited to... Um, I think if I was to do a 1.4, I would have 12 kilometres in, in height and 48 kilometres in length, which is about, you're talking just under 30 miles long and about, what, uh, seven miles, seven miles high? So you've got seven miles by about 30 miles, which it would be really nice, even if it wasn't 30 miles or 40 miles in height, 20 miles in height, 20 miles in height and about 100 miles in, in length that would be brilliant because you could you could do a lot with that that kind of space and you, you could create large hub cities or you know for example you could do albeit a little bit um, a little bit compressed but you could do something like London to to Cardiff or Swansea in that in that kind of space. And then you could have the entire Great Western Railway, and you could have Reading, and uh, you know you'd have Slough, Reading, and going further on, you'd go uh, Didcot and Oxford, and put Swindon in, and Bath and Bristol, and then all the way into Cardiff and Swansea, and uh, Newport as well. That that would be a really really nice uh, kind of thing to do, and you could have a few towns together to clump up to make Bristol, a few towns to come up, clump up to make Cardiff and a dozen towns to clump up to make London and then just scatter a, a few towns around uh, just to make up the other cities so you know Oxford could be made up of of two or, or three London could be made up of ten Bristol could be made up of five or six Bath can be made up of two or three just like that and I think that would be really really nice 
Our next stop means that we are going to McCallum, which I believe means peeling off to the left or right here. And once we're in McCallum, with nothing currency, we are going to send the other train on its way. And that's why we have these trains at opposite ends of the spectrum. Which is what we're after. Quite a decent journey overall. I think it has gone somewhat well. And here we are in the cannon. So let's go ahead and get that train running up here. You continue. Oh dear. Come on, quickly, quickly now. And can you turn around a bit? Yep, there you go. 324, 300, that is absolutely fine. That was, that is exactly what I wanted to happen. Okay. And now everything continues happily in both directions. Although I might need a a signal somewhere since I did not so we've got a double signal where did I put that other signal it's after this isn't it yeah I'm thinking maybe it is a good idea to have a Actually, I... it's only this train that goes along here ah, on this side we do have the other train running through but we already have a signal there, so that is not a problem. Great. Okay, how is Springfield looking? 561, that is all right. And it does have the tools starting to come to it. But of course, we need to have a look at that extremely large train. That is now carrying 78 instead of 24 or whatever it was. Where's the other train coming back in the opposite direction? There it is. That has managed to make its way back. Actually, no, that's rather... Ah, yes, see, look, you get stuck in traffic just here. That's okay, though, because the next one will also get stuck in traffic, I'm going to assume. Go on, off you go. Oh, you need to cross over there go 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 there you go okay so we'll have to we'll have to keep an eye out for traffic on this and that that is going to be a concern but if that works as well as we've planned all we need to now do is do the one for McAllen which at the moment is getting nothing and the reason it is getting nothing is because we've got this going to there and then they're picking up that. So all I need to do is create a new new line from there into... Ah, where do you want to go? Let, let's create another one. Let's create one here. Uh, where's my line? That isn't it. There it is. There we go. We will colour it that colour. We will call it FRRW uh, McCallan Tools. There we go. And then I will buy some vehicles not too many not too many let's just go for 10 high maintenance as you would nice color and off you go so now we should have the opportunity to get these also to McAllen 226 227 where is the train that it's that train's on its way out with 114 now so the other train should be on its way back right there it is it is on its way back 
How much can you carry? 204. Ah, now you see that? That could be a problem, but... It is... I think it's maxed out on its length as well. Our station, our platforms are 240 metres long. Now I could expand this platform a little bit. What are you stopping for now? What has you stopping? Is it that? It is that. Okay, we need to do something here. There. Do that. Might help us out a little. Okay. 584 climbing to 610. Things are things are going rather well for for the city of Springfield. A large concern here though is the amount 320. We are going to lose a lot here. These lots are coping okay, so that is good. And Fort St. Lucie does have 70% of what it requires. We do have to, of course, build the other freight line with the tools, which is for Billings and Elgin and Clearwater. So there are those that we need to do. Vickers Victoria, lovely. Now, I'm just wondering what would be the best way to do this so we, we've got the planks that go there I just need to figure out where I'm going to get the wood from that is all I need to there we go wood wood to planks plank there there to there to there potentially we could have a a crossing here Wait, where is the there? We could potentially have a massive crossing over this. Just try something. Yeah, that isn't scary at all, is it? So we could do something like that as well to get it to the sawmill. And then from the sawmill, we take it there. And then from there, we're going to try and get Elgin and Clearwater. And... Billings. That is the plan, but that is for another another video. For this for this one, we need to ensure that this is working in the best way we can currently get it working. I mean, there, here comes the train. There goes the train. What is going on here? What have you done? You've overloaded them. That's okay. There's nothing we can do about that. And what are you carrying? 78. Okay. And how are you coping? 90 of 209. So do we create a third train? There's a question. Do we make a third train? There's already 90... By the time this train gets to Port St. Lucia, there's going to be about 150 waiting here. And that is almost 75% of a train. So do we consider a third train for this? And is it going to work in our favour? We can always try it. We can always try it. Where are you coming from? My cannon. Of course you are. Exactly the place where I do not want you to come from, but it's fine. You can sit there for a while. That That is what you can do. You can just sit there for a while. So how much does this drop off? Nothing? One. It's going to drop off one. One solitary... Um, what's it called? Just one solitary, what's it called? Tool. It must have just been a spanner or... Maybe it was just a... I don't know, a screwdriver. 
Perhaps it just dropped off a single screwdriver. See, now, this is another annoying part of transport's fever. You see, what it really needs to do is it needs to go into the platform all the way so I can have platforms like this. This is something that does need to be changed about the about the program, about the game. Program? Yeah, sure. This is a program after all. That is now going to be on its way out, and hopefully that gets caught in all sorts of traffic. Trying to... trying to follow along. Where has the other one gone? Oh wow, that one's... that one is long gone. Okay, perhaps this is... perhaps this is a good thing. And what is waiting here? 292. Okay. So perhaps this is a good thing. You are struggling here just a little but not too badly and you are certainly not getting enough of what you require so we need to we need to look at that and you've got your first first screwdriver congratulations it would be really nice if these all joined together but that isn't going to happen it took me forever to join um, Chicago up to Milwaukee in, in the Transports Fever Great Lakes series. They started off about this far away, but I also had Naperville and Rockford and Madison and all of it connected together to give me what I was after. I think in that, in that area there was a population density of about 6,000. Right, so you have 204. We already have 150 waiting. So another train should come up behind it. There it is. And that should pick up a lot of this. In fact, it will pick up all of it, which is good. And then a third train should be able to pick up another 100, perhaps? That That is the theory. OK, no, it isn't going to pick up all of it, because that is it. The train's now full. Yes, this train is now full. There we go. That train is now out of here. Completely full. And there's already 40 waiting. Right. That should be okay, though. In theory, where's the next train? Where is the next train? Here comes the next train. You should have 150 to pick up. Let me just follow this train along. Why are the tools waiting there? Where are those tools supposed to be going? Let's find out what this has. And why is there wood waiting there? Something has gone wrong with... Perhaps I should do... No, I cannot do the unloading loading thing. Because I need it to unload. And if it unloads, then it needs... Never mind. So, what do we have here? 114. That isn't bad. That is not bad. So we are managing to now keep up with the with the demand. We're the 150. 75% full. And by the time it leaves, there is already another 20. By the time it leaves, where's the next train? The next train is there. Okay, so by the time that train comes back, there is going to be a fair amount. You're carrying 11. This is good. This is very good. And with that, I'm going to end this video, I think. I think that is a good place to end this video. There we go. Something something along the lines of this. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Transports Fever 2. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. 
we are starting to get to that stage where I'm looking at the second series of Transports Fever 2. I have a really, really good series in mind. So you do want to stay subscribed for that or get subscribed if you have not done so. You can also find me on social media at EC Gadget LP for both Twitter and Instagram. That is all from me and I will see you guys next time in Transports Fever 2.